She actually sounds really good. Nebu. Hello, 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 and welcome back to The Sims 4 Get Famous. We're here with Miss Gemma practicing her guitar for her audition that's going to be coming up for the making music. I'm not exactly sure what type of commercial that is, but she needs to get to guitar level two, and she is almost there, so good for her. And we also have Miss Harper here. She's home from work, and she's talking to the TV, as we all do. But for her job, she needs to discuss outfits or fashion. Good job, Gemma. Got to do guitar level two. And um, I think we might take her out. It's uh, seven o'clock. She's a little hungry. I think her and Gemma might actually just go out to, on the town, maybe to a club, and yeah, just meet some people and start schmoozing, see if there's any celebrities there. It'll be a good time, so let's do it. So we are at the ultra classic Blue Velvet nightclub, and it is raining, and for whatever reason, Harper does not have an umbrella. I need to get her one, and this is where we're going to spend our evening. Hopefully we can meet some people, like right here. We can meet Huac Joaquin Lachien, one of the many men that October has had uh, babies with in my 100 baby challenge, but that's neither here nor there. And Gemma can come over here and let's see, let's meet this Gunther Munch. Yes, meet this young mixologist here. So let's give him a friendly introduction. Let's see, let's interview Joaquin. Let's discuss his outfit. And I thought I saw something about fishing for compliments. Let's see if he'll give us a compliment if we fish for one, because we are, what, self-absorbed or something? What is our trait? <laughs> yeah, self-absorbed, exactly. Oh, he hated it. He did not like asking her, like, fishing for a compliment. Or maybe he didn't. I guess he liked it. Let's see, what does it say? Harper is a self-absorbed sim. She loves to fish for compliments and receive presence and attention. Interactions like gossip, check total followers, sign an autograph, incite a cheer, and take a selfie will cause her to be happier. However, lack of attention or forgotten birthdays are likely to make her very upset. All right, well, that's good to know. So we can actually have her even go ahead and post a selfie here. Add to some Instagram story because she's here at the bar and we can have Gemma do the exact same thing. Ooh, 24 total followers for Harper. Oh, this <laughs> social media thing is not working out very well. Buy a wash tub. No, we're not buying a wash tub. This isn't the 1800s. Let's go ahead and have Gemma take a selfie. I wish we could... Can we like... Oh, we can! Oh, I love it. I forgot how using the camera in the game. It's been so long since I've used the camera. Look how cute she is. Can't remember. Can you put filters on it? Oh, you can. Oh my god. Ah, oh, look at it. Look how cute. Yeah, let's have her get it with everyone in the bar here. Let's see. Best way to do it. Try and get her sister in there too. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Took some selfies. I hope they came out okay. So usually they come out terrible. Poor, exactly. Oh, you can actually sell these to publications. Let's go ahead and do that and see if we can get some more fame for Gemma. She's gonna be famous in no time. Don't even worry about it. Oh, I wish it wasn't raining. We could go roller skating. This bar is really hopping tonight. Look at this. Look at all these people here. God, it's raining. We ordered some food because uh, both Gemma and Harper are hungry now. So let's have you guys grab a serving. I wonder if we can dance with this guy. Let's go ahead and dance with Brandt. That looks fun. Maybe we'll have Gemma take another selfie while they're dancing. Oh, he stopped dancing. Well, that sucks. Don't take a selfie then. Well, unfortunately, I think we're gonna go because Harper's really tired and she's got work in the morning and this place is, like, hella busy. It's hella busy. Almost too busy to even, like, have a conversation with someone, except for Gemma, who's getting her talk on with this lovely gentleman here who decided not to dance with her sister, but whatever. Oh, no! Poor Gemma! She's gonna get eaten by this horrible vampire. Oh, I hate this guy. No, she's got an audition in the morning. She can't be all drained of blood and sleepy. No! Oh, I hate this guy. Although now that I'm seeing this, it might be fun to make um, Gemma a vampire. That way she can be young and beautiful and famous forever. So in addition to Gemma also, of course, being drained by a vampire, she also doesn't like our bathtub. I don't know if we can afford a better bathtub. I mean, what's wrong with it? It's a bathtub. My goodness. How much would an upgraded bathtub cost? How about this one? Is that better for you? It's 450 simoleons, which is too much. Too much! Alright, Harper is off to work this morning and she's not happy because she didn't have time to have breakfast because she woke up kinda late because I wasn't watching the time. So she'll just have to grab a bagel or whatever, a bagel and coffee on the way. And Gemma, of course, is also not happy. She's also got that pouty lip ding going because she got bit by a vampire last night in her sleep and that's a total violation and I probably would never sleep again. And you can even see the bite marks 
on her neck. Poor thing. Better cover that up with makeup before your audition. Let's see if anybody who we met at the club yesterday, like Brandt, wants to come over and hang out with her before she has to go to her audition, which is in like oh, several God. hours. So yeah. gotta fill up your time somehow, girl. Maybe we could take you out, so take you to the gym. That might be an even better idea, but I just already called to invite him over. Maybe he'll come with us. Let's go to the gym. Let's head to the celebrity gym. Let's head to Pectoral Fitness, an up-and-coming hotspot. That should be fun. Well, we already have a paparazzi out here, so somebody in here must be famous. Oh, let's go swimming. Yes. Let's swim laps. I don't care what Brent does, but let's just swim laps. This gym is really cute. I even love how it has a glass roof so we could see her swimming from all the way up here. Hi, Gemma. Well, the swimming really put her in a good mood, so that's something. I wonder if there's any celebrities we can hang out with. Fan, where is the celebrity that everyone's coming to meet? Stairs, maybe? Is this little girl? No, fan of whom? Gym trainer? Ah, her. All right. Oh my god, everyone's freaking out. So let's go ahead and see if we can't meet her. Let's, um, exclaim adoration? No. Can we try and just introduce ourselves? No? Okay, let's just come up and ask her about her interests, I guess. Everyone's screaming. Oh, hang on a mo. We have a super handsome man in a speedo sitting next to us in the pool. Let's introduce ourselves to him. Forget the celebrity. I mean, not that he's not handsome, but I know for a fact that he's uh, married to a another man. <laughs> in Brindleton Bay. I know that for a fact. Oh, and he's feeling flirty. Girl, you gotta get in on this. This is going pretty well. The relationship's getting pretty high, and look how cute they all look together. Oh my god, it's like something out of- uh, what was that show called? Laguna Beach or whatever. <laughs> There's like a bunch of really good-looking people are sitting around a pool or on the beach. Exactly what it looks like. I wish those vampire marks would go away. I feel bad for her. Oh, unfortunately I think Paolo's leaving. Either that or he's just gonna go work out some more, so I'm not really sure. Don't leave, Paolo. We like you. Let's get out of our group with Brandt and hang out with Paolo. Okay, so Harper is home from work. She's promoted to wearable wordsmith. She'll make additional seven, seven simoleons per hour for a grand total of 35 simoleons per hour. She's also received the following bonus, 465 simoleons and a digitalistic sketch pad. It's awesome. I can't wait to see what that is, but good for you, Harper. But Paolo, come back here immediately. You have like two hours till your audition. You can flirt it up a little bit before you gotta go. Jenna's audition starts at one hour. I know, but we just need to find out what his career is and then we can start flirting with him. He's like perfect for Gemma. He is a locker room attendant. Oh, that's glamorous. <laughs> okay, let's try flirting it up a little bit before we gotta go. Let's just give a nice general flirt. Oh, these, I'm almost I'm tempted to put the walls up just so we don't have to hear them freaking out. Ugh. Get out of here. Let's see. Does he like it? Oh, he likes it. He likes being flirted with. Of course he does. Be daring. Give him a pickup line. Dude, get out of here. We don't want to talk to you. Okay, Gemma is off to her... <laughs> I had it on fast speed because she was peeing. But Gemma is off to her audition in her bikini, so I really hope they like that. And in case her guitar skill isn't that good, at least they can see how she looks in a bikini. That might uh, sway them either way. Okay, so now we're back home with Miss Harper, who is in desperate need of some fun, which we will get you some fun, girl. What is this sketch pad that you supposedly got? Is it in the household inventory? Digitalistic sketch pad, the latest in handheld electronic easel at technology. It allows you to take your creativity anywhere, printing high-res imagery without having to stand for messy canvas creation on rickety wooden antiquities. That is so cool. Trending style board, a unique tool of trade for style influencers that captures gathered impressions from a sim in that career, tracking the evaluation of their aesthetic tastes to unlock a variety of custom looks. Cool. Well, let's put that... Let me have this. Let me put that right there. See what we can do with that. And this, we're going to throw this right into your inventory. See what you can mess around with there. Okay, so the girl is in desperate need of some fun, so we're going to have her pee, and then we are going to take her to um, maybe even a better club. Maybe more like a club uh, in Windenburg, where it's just really popping. So she can just dance all of her stress away. Okay, here we are at the Discotheque Pan Europa, which is a really popular nightclub that they have here in Windenburg. So I'm sure she will have a good time. She can dance food if she gets hungry, and hopefully she can meet some super cool people that she can interview or whatever she has to do, or discuss their outfits or fashion in general. But she should be wearing a different outfit. I don't know why she's wearing her winter outfit. Don't they have like so they have heating in this club? <laughs> uh, Gemma passed her audition. We are not sure if you got the role for the commercial or if you're booked as a... I like to finish that, please. As a rodeo clown. You should work on your guitar skill to prepare for the role, but in case you should freeze some ice in case you have to ice down bruises caused by angry bulls. Jesus, what the hell kind of audition is this? Okay, let's bring Gemma here. 
so she can join us. I don't know if Paolo's here. Usually he's at all the clubs all the time. But let's see if we can't invite him over here. And girl, you gotta get out of your bikini. Why are you still wearing it? No wonder you passed the audition. Girl, please. Put on your party outfit. What's your party outfit? Yeah, put on your party outfit. Ooh, I think this is the guy who's married to Brent right here. And there's Joaquin. We tried talking to him before. Let's continue talking to him. Oh, Gemma's getting down over here. Look at her. <laughs> She's feeling herself tonight. She passed that audition. She is feeling great. I don't see Paolo. I don't know if he's coming or if he's already here. I know this is where the, um, the whatever club that Paolo is a part of. I can't remember what their club is called. The party, party people or whatever. <laughs> I know that's where they, their like little hangout is, but don't see him anywhere. It's weird. Oh, there he is. He's hanging out outside. He's looking snazzy too. The party house. That's right. That's what it is. All right. Let's come over to Paolo and let's sort of, I don't know, give him a little flirt, ask him if he's single. Let's try and get over the fact that you were chewed on by a vampire because you just can't seem to get over it. Harper is really hitting it off with Joaquin. It's like really hitting it off. I'm surprised. Like it's hitting it off so well they can already move in together if they wanted to, which I don't, but because they're not even dating. <laughs> Um, I think this girl just flirted with Harper. I'm gonna have to leave that in. But I'm almost positive that she did just flirt with Harper. Which is super weird. Don't, don't do that. Oh, and they're up here having drinks. How cute. Look at them. They're so in love. But not yet. Let's see if we can't exchange numbers. Let's see how he feels about that. I'm so covert. You're literally sitting right next to him. Oh, he's into it. He's into it. Oh, I love it. Love it so much. Okay, so Harper is like super tired. So, oh god, there's that genuine, like, what was it? Proper celebrity, worldwide celebrity, what is it called? Global superstar? That's right, she's here. So everyone's gonna start freaking out in a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and send Harper home because she's exhausted. And I don't think I'm gonna have her go to work tomorrow. I think I'm gonna have her work from home because she still has lots of skills she's gotta get up. So I think she can just sleep in and worry about that tomorrow. But Gemma is stinky. <laughs> <laughs> but we're just trying to get it in with with Paolo real quick. Like I don't I don't mean get it in, but we're just trying to just sort of build up some romance with him. So maybe he wants to go out on dates with her, and you know maybe he'll come over to our house without calling and just be like, "Jeb, I love you." It's so romantic. Oh, but not when we're being embarrassing. Not when we don't know how to flirt. Okay, that's enough. Let's not ruin what little pink bar we have now. Let's just keep him wanting more or wanting less based on your flirting skills. And let's just go home, take a shower, and go to bed. <laughs> okay, so we're going to have Harper work from home today. Um, and apparently she needs to take three photos. Find something impressionable, use the phone to find and use the photograph impression interaction to capture the moment. Okay, well, we'll definitely get on that, but right now she's gonna make breakfast if that's all right with you. Oh my god, love day starts tomorrow. I wonder if we can get uh, Gemma and Paolo all hooked up for love day, get them maybe boyfriend and girlfriend, or at least maybe have them go out on a date on love day, and maybe even Harper too. Maybe Harper can go out on a date with Joaquin, Joaquin, however you say it. Look, 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 everything's already decorated for love day. So cute, little pink and white and red um, lights. I it. Okay, so what sort of impressionable things could we possibly have her take pictures of? Take a picture of this park just to see what happens. Like, is it? Just, I assume it's like specifically like for outfits and stuff, but I really don't know. Just I'm, I'm really curious because I don't. I don't think I don't think I get it. Okay, here it is. Photograph impression. Let's just see what that does. Uh huh. Uh -huh. What is it? What oh, is it? Is this that? tree? No. Okay. <laughs> take a picture of these guys. Maybe that's some sort of impression that you're... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, you're really close to them. Yeah. Sort of took a picture of the palm tree behind them, but sure. It works. Take a picture of this graffiti over here. That's impressionable, I think. Oh, I should have had you take a picture of the pigeons. I love the pigeons in this game. There you go. There, we did it! Don't know what any of that means, but let's just go home and work on our writing skill. <laughs> Okay, so the girls have been working super hard on their skills all day, and it's 8.30 at night, so I think we're going to go out once again, because that's what these girls do. They're young, they're single, they're looking for fame, and they don't want to stick around the house all day, every day. So, um, Harper has this uh, wish, or whatever, to walk Starlight Boulevard, where all the celebrity stars are, and um, yeah, let's do that right now, and let's invite their maybe possibly boyfriends while they have a share a little hug. Okay, so let's invite Gemma and Joaquin. 
Keen, and then I guess Gemma can just invite Paolo once they're already there. So where is that? Pinnacles. This is Starlight Boulevard right here. I guess we could go to the museum or to the park and see. Yeah, let's go to the park, I guess, and walk the boulevard there if we're able to. I'm not really sure how this works. Well, we're gonna try it anyway. Uh, yes, I see. I saw the boulevard as it was zooming in. Okay, so let's quickly, quickly. Where's the button? Quickly. <laughs> let's invite Paolo over. Where is he? No, that's not Paolo. Let's invite him to join the group. There we go. And he's coming. Oh, look at this park. Look how gorge. Love it. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, not a park for children, obviously. And there's Paolo, and he's part of our group. Yay. Okay, so let's everybody come over here, and I guess this is where the stars are? I'm guessing. They look like they're, that's what they're supposed to be. It's just everybody just hanging out. Oh my god. Let's all go roller skating. Invite to skate. Gemma and Joaquin. Let's all roller skate. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. Now how do I... I want to turn lights on... Turn on party lights and set music. Music autoplay on and put down some... Put down some sparkles. Yeah, this is the best. <laughs> Everybody have a good time. This is just like a disaster. They all look terrible. They all look like like deers just first learning to walk. Okay, it's after midnight and they've just been skating this whole time. So I think we could actually make them stop skating. Maybe once Harper gets this uh, fitness point that we can all stop skating. What is it? She's fallen fatigued from working out. Okay, is this working out for you guys? All right, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have everybody go home. We had a nice little night out on the boulevard. All the whole skating rig to ourselves. It's can't ask for better, can you? Oh, and it's love day, love day. But today is also Gemma's audition day. It's me, Paolo. Do you want to go out on a date? I really do, Paolo. And we will ask you out on a date when we get back from our, um, our audition or uh, our gig, rather. We already, <laughs> already passed our audition. And uh, we haven't romanced Joaquin at all, but maybe he'll come over and can... Just canoodle with him a little bit. It's time for Gemma to head off to work. She's still in bed, but that's okay. <laughs> Would you like to follow? Uh, duh, of course I want to follow. Okay, here we are. All right, now we're going to do the whole thing. We're not just going to jump right into the performance. So first, of course, we're going to post our Simstagram story. No, girl, post your Simstagram story. You're on set. You're doing some sort of bizarre commercial that involves a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> best image ever. You gained 12 followers. Really? Is it the best image if you only gained 12 followers? All right, and you come over here with everybody else in their funky costumes and just start practice acting in front of the mirror. <laughs> this is first person version of her uh, acting in front of the mirror. <laughs> Hi! And let's grab some food. Ooh, it's pizza. Pizza and tuna casserole. Ew, what a combination. Canadian bacon, delish. Canadian bacon. Okay, what if somebody's a vegetarian? Just saying. You're gonna get into hair and makeup for the gig while eating pizza? That's gross. Don't do that. <laughs> get everything all greasy and nasty. All right, now we're ready. Let's get into first person mode. Watch him. Ah, my face! <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun with- oh my god. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun with first person mode lately. Baba. Oh no. Oh. That can't be right, is it? <laughs> no, I guess not. <laughs> that's a pretty huge mistake to make, to shave the head and gel it up like that and then go, oh no wait, that's not what I meant. Oh, much better. Much cuter. Oh, it's like Midwestern. Oh, there's the guitar. But I'm guessing this is going to be like a saloon type dress. This is like the Old West. Yeah. Oh, she's so cute. I love this dress. That person just exploded something in her face for Love Day, but she didn't seem to mind. Okay, we're ready. Oh my god. Perform the guitar scene. Okay, we can risky play guitar because our guitar skill is amazing. It's like three or something. <laughs> yeah, it's three. It's so good. Oh, she's so good. Oh, she did so good. Okay, let's perform the singing scene. Risky sing, yes. She actually sounds really good. Nibu! <laughs> she did really good! What's the last, what's the product placement? Where's that? This one right here? Risky show product. You got it, girl. Go for it. We already got a gold. Let's take it all the way home. I don't think she's doing so good on that. <laughs> she did sound super convinced. Angry. From being hot-headed, of course. Okay, so how did I do, everyone? Shut down the lights. It's over. That's all you're getting out of me. And I'm pissed off, as you can see. <laughs> She's going to try and calm down in the mirror. Good for her. 
Glad she's just not gonna go up to someone and slap them. Gemma got gold! That's a wrap. Gemma has finished all her scenes, the crew is shutting down, and the footage is being sent to editing. Let's go home. And she also got promoted, but we'll have to wait to read that till we're back at the home lot. Oh my god! Gemma is a notable newcomer! Gemma has started down the path- No! Gemma started down the path to stardom. She's earned her very first fame point, which is hers to keep. Fame points can be used to purchase fame perks within the fame info panel. With her newfound fame, though, she's now susceptible to developing a fame quirk a behavioral oddity shaped by the actions she takes. And she's been promoted. Gemma has been promoted to commercial spokeswoman. New auditions have become available. And Gemma was nominated for an award for her breathtaking acting performance. Check out the next award ceremony Sunday at 7 to see if she won. How do you check out an award ceremony? Don't even know how you do that. Okay, so that is where I'm going to end this part here. Look at her, she's so happy. We, in the next part, we're gonna pick up on Love Day, where we're maybe gonna go out on a date with Paolo and Gemma and Harper and Joaquin. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of the pairing of those two, if you like them together, either pair, Harper and Joaquin or Gemma and Paolo, or if you want them to sort of wait and find somebody else, or if you just don't see them together, just let me know in the comments what you wanna do. And of course, we are also going to get Gemma onto her her next acting gig to see, you know, we just want to shoot her up into stardom here. But before we go, the very last thing we're going to do is let's get her some fame stuff. So corporate partnership, upload monies for increased fame and money. Uploads from the video station and music station will earn Gemma more fame than normal. And we have networking, easier so socialization with more famous sims. Gaining the social prowess to deal with deal with fellow celebrities, Gemma will be able to form friendships with more famous sims and smooth talk away from being acquaintances to friends quickly. And then we have noticeable. Chance to gain bonus fame from skills and careers. There's just something about Gemma that makes her stand out from the crowd and make other sims take notice. By honing this aspect of her personality, there's a chance that any single skill or career-based action from here on out may catch the public's attention, giving Gemma an extra boost of fame. These are all awesome, but I think I'm going to go with networking because I would love to be able to talk to celebrities and through earning real friendship or maintaining friendship with celebrities, we get fame in turn. That definitely is something that I want. So that's what we're going with for Gemma. So she's going to have the next time we see that global celebrity or another notable newcomer, we can totally, you know, chat them up and see what they've got going on. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this part. If you did, please let me know in the comments, leave me a like or a dislike. And of course you can subscribe if you want to. More than anything, I want to thank you so very much for watching. It means the absolute world to me and I'll see you for the next part of The Sims 4 Get Famous. Bye. Bye.